Hello. Today, I'm going to show you this algebra problem. It's to do with quadratic equations, which we can see from the, the x squared. Um, whenever we're talking about two distinct real roots, or anything to do with the amount of roots, that's linking us to the discriminant. So we'll start there. What is our discriminant in general? Well, it is b squared minus 4ac. And when we have two distinct real roots, that tells us that our discriminant is going to be positive. So when we use the quadratic formula, the square root of the discriminant gives us two different answers, the positive and the negative value. So beautiful. Next step then, what are our a, b and c? Well, our a is going to be the coefficient of the x squared, which is k. Our b is the coefficient of the x's, so that's 2k. And our c then, that's the coefficient of the, of the constants, so that's just minus 3. So when we go to fill in our discriminant, it's going to be b squared, which is 2k squared, minus 4, times by a, which is k, times by c, which is minus 3. So we can expand some bits of this out. We're going to have then, this is 4k squared. The minus from the minus 4 and the minus from the minus 3 combine together to make a plus. And the 4 and the 3 themselves make a 12. So what we have is plus 12k. And if we remember what we said on the right-hand side over here, we want this thing to be greater than 0. So we can divide by 4. What we get then is k squared plus 3 is greater than 0. And now there's a few methods to solve this. What we have, oh sorry, plus 3k, not just plus 3. But yeah, now there's a few methods to solve this. So we have a quadratic, and we want when it's greater than 0. So we can either think about the roots. Well, this is the way I do it. We're going to think about the roots instead. So we'll solve k squared plus 3k is equal to 0. So we can factorize the k out. We get k plus 3 is equal to 0. So our k then is equal to 0 or minus 3. But we don't want the actual boundaries. We want which region we need. So do we need to be inside, like between minus 3 and 0? Or do we need to be outside? So sort of less than uh, minus 3 and greater than, greater than 0. So the way I do this now is we're going to look at this inequality and draw both the curves. So we can draw the line of 0, so just the 0 curve, and then the k squared plus k. So it doesn't really matter exactly where it is, as long as now we just put in the numbers. This is the minus 3. This is the 0. We want our quadratic to be above the straight line. So of the three regions, either like outside and inside, so like the three regions, the two outside and the one on the inside, we need when it, the quadratic is above. So it's going to be on the outside, not on the inside. So that tells us then the final answer is going to be k is less than minus 3, or k is greater than 0. If it was inside, then the quadratic would be less than our 0, and therefore we would not have two distinct real roots. So beautiful. We ended up showing that k is less than minus 3, or k is positive. Happy days. We could write this instead using the union. So like k is less than minus 3, union. k is positive. But it doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, it just means or, but a different way of writing it. So beautiful. Hope that all made sense. Yeah. Thank you very much.